Good evening, everybody. The Phillip Boys cross country team delivered a big way at Saturday's state meet. The Scotties captured their second consecutive team state championship. The Hill City Boys won the Class A title. The Rangers Luke Rupert also won the individual championship. Meanwhile, the Rush got the season up to a nice start last week, picking up a pair of road victories against Iowa. Rapid City won 4-2 on Thursday and followed that up with a thrilling 4-3 overtime victory on Friday. Scott Burt's guys play their first home games of the season this week as they host Kansas City on Friday and Saturday. Alex Aliardi and company are focused on continuing the hard, hot start to the season. We're a hardworking, gritty, gritty team, and you know, pace is uh, the biggest thing right now for us is just pushing teams back and making them play on their heels, and we're attacking all the time. That's the keys. You know, that's the difference between a good and a great team is you know, great teams win third periods when they're down and when they really need to win those. We want to continue to stick to our style and our structure. We don't really want to worry about teams that are coming. We want teams to worry about us. So with that being said, as long as we can continue to play our structure the right way and guys understand and guys buy in, um, we'll be fine. The defending state champion wall football team opened up the playoffs with a 22 to 6 victory over Kimball White Lake last week. The fifth seeded Eagles hit the road on Thursday to take on Hamlin. Now both powerhouses enter the showdown with eight and one records. The Phillip football team improved the 9 and 0 as it opened the playoffs with a decisive 52 nothing victory over Timberlake last week. The third seeded Scotties will host Chester in Thursday's 9A quarterfinals. Now the Flyers want to take game over Wolsey Westington 28-26 in the opening round and the 11B ranks 8-1 Hot Springs hits the road to take on 9-0 Sioux Valley in Thursday's quarterfinals. The Bison steamrolled Bridgewater Emory Ethan 55-7 in the opening round after earning a big win over Woonsocket Westington Springs Sanborn Central Rapid City Christian travels to duel. Well, we do have some high school volleyball matches that will be played in the area this evening. Pine Ridge is at home to take on Edgemont. The Thorps are putting together a big season as they enter the match with a 19 and 9 record. Elsewhere tonight, Bennett County will host Little Wound. And it is time now for another edition of Big Old fish and this evening Rhett Chironi grabs the spotlight Rhett reeled in this 14 inch crappie out of a stock dam near Farmingdale congratulations to you Rhett and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors you too can be featured on a big old fish just send us your picture by using the submit photos link at codatv.com make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish what kind of fish it is how big it is and where it was caught get those pictures in and we will get you on Big old fish. And tonight, Jack, it is a big night for Vikings fans as they'll look to pick up a win against the 49ers. 49ers, of course, a very tough squad. They lost last week, though, to the Browns. So Vikings and 49ers are right here on Coda Territory tonight. Monday night football once we wrap up the news. We'll see if Viking fans enjoy that game. Uh, they don't have to wait till Friday for high school ball this week. That's right. High school football. I just want to remind folks, game coming up on Thursday. Games are on Thursday again this week week. It's quarterfinal action as games all across the state in all seven classes and we'll have all your scores and highlights back here Thursday night on a special edition of the hike. Look out for the Vikings tonight. I think I think they're going to win that game. All How right. That? We have it on Vic's word. All right. Thank you, Vic. Well,